how does this confusion come about? Like it's a overcast, clouded day, like here today. No blue sky. So let's imagine suddenly the sun with its mighty powers opens a little patch in this clouded sky, in this overcast sky. And there is this blue patch of blue sky. I'm like, oh, Look, the blue sky, nice. How beautiful. And then another one, maybe, and another one, and there are more and more of these patches, and the blue sky becomes kind of more available. Was there no blue sky before those patches opened? Or was the blue sky kind of a permanent background of those clouds, of those of this gray mass of unhappiness? We don't like gray days, do we? It's like most of us, at least. It's nice when it's sunny and, and light. Our happiness is like this blue sky. Like the silent background. It's always there. It does not come and go depending on the weather. The clouds are like our thoughts and feelings in, in different thickness, heaviness. This wrong thinking, this confusion, this ignorance are those thick clouds. So it seems When the clouds are there, the sky is not there, but it's there. In other words, we're, we're taking the wrong perspective, the wrong point of view. So we are kind of these avatars, right, as I call them, our bodies here on planet Earth. And we look up and we see just clouds. From the perspective of our avatars, we look up and clouds come and clouds go. Blue sky comes, blue sky goes. Happiness comes, happiness goes. Sun shining, I'm happy. It's raining, I'm unhappy. 
it's still very common that our happiness depends on the weather in our society. It's just an expression of that confusion. We, as we have seen so many times, confuse ourselves to be this avatar, this apparent separate person on this planet Earth that is kind of away apart from the sky, from the blue sky. And those clouds of thoughts and feelings, heavy clouds, somehow have the power to override, to overcast the happiness of my blue skyness, so to speak. And for that reason, many traditions try to kind of manipulate the weather. They try to get those clouds out of the way. They kind of try to force the clouds, the thoughts and the feelings to push them away, to make them go away, believing that it's the thoughts and the feelings that are responsible for missing the blue sky. The problem with this approach is It's a very limited approach to manipulate the weather, to manipulate our thoughts and feelings. Without understanding, they just keep coming back, these thoughts of ignorance, those feelings. They don't leave us, they just keep coming. No matter how many times we push them away, in some way or other, they re-emerge. And again, we cannot see the blue sky. So what does non-duality, if we want to call it this way, bring us? What is this understanding? It's a perspective shift. We change the point of view, or better said, we drop the point of view. We learn or unlearn to be this avatar exclusively apart from the blue sky. We unlearn the belief that we are this body-mind complex. We understand we are the blue sky. Blue skying happily is our nature. No matter how many clouds there are, no matter if there are blue patches in the sky, from the perspective of the sky, from the perspective of the totality, because if we understand the sky, it's not something, it's a deeper understanding that is like the background of the picture Earth. It's the whole space around, right? The sky is everywhere around us. It's not just above us. It's, it's the space of consciousness, so to speak. So 
So for the blue sky, there are no blue patches, no coming and going of blue sky. It's just always blue skies, spacing, to believe the analogy, awareing, being aware of being aware. It's just from the perspective of a limited entity, of an illusory, independent, separate person. A wrong point of view through wrong understanding and consequent feelings of separation that bring about this apparent experience of happiness coming and going, of the blue sky coming and going. So through understanding, we allow ourselves to, to relax back into, to fall back into our blue sky nature, so to speak. Where we don't mind the weather so much. It's like when we get on a plane, like we go on a plane next week. Somehow there is this happiness always when we kind of break through the clouds and like, oh, there it is. There's even a song in German. Über den Wolken. Above the clouds there. Freedom and happiness must be unlimited or something like that. There is the wisdom in silly songs. This is the basics of non-dual understanding, that we drop this idea, this belief of being this avatar exclusively having its life on its own apart from consciousness and our happiness or misery being dependent exclusively on the thoughts, feelings and perceptions that appear, happen in or to that avatar. This point of view of the avatar is just a practical thing for functionality, so we can navigate this dream. But it's not a real limitation. It's just a confusion, an ignorance. That's why the solution is understanding. If I truly understand that I am the blue sky and my blue skyness, my spaciousness does not depend on the weather or what anyone is doing on this planet or any other planets, that I'm just spaciousness all the time anyways, happily.
Now I see that our happiness, our freedom, is our continuous permanent nature. The coming and going belongs to the point of view, belongs to the mind, not to us as consciousness or loving awareness or the ground of being, sometimes I call it. It's this blue sky 